The superstar catch of Colorado's fishing industry is in serious trouble. Summer is high season for the state's more than $2 billion recreational fishing industry. But a disease in the water is killing rainbow trout, even threatening to wipe out the species. Barry Peterson went to the Black Canyons of Colorado's Gunnison River to learn about a new effort to fight the disease and save the trout. Joel Evans has been fishing the stretch of the Gunnison River in western Colorado for more than 40 years. Like most anglers in these parts, for him, one species of fish is king, the rainbow trout. What's it like to have a rainbow at the end of this line? Oh, they're fun. They tend to be more active. They jump more. But in the 1990s, that fight shifted to one between rainbow trout and a parasite that invaded Colorado rivers. It causes whirling disease, an aquatic plague, where young fish are deformed, swim in circles, and die of starvation. What kind of numbers and decrease did you see? Uh, literally a tenfold decrease. Ever since, Colorado Fish and Wildlife Manager Renzo Del Piccolo has been working to keep the rainbow trout alive through various breeding programs, but at great cost and with only limited success. The rainbow trout is hugely important to this state. How important? Is there a dollar number? Fishing in general, it's estimated over $2 billion to the economy. Scientists got a major break when they discovered a small, isolated group of rainbow trout immune to the disease in this remote part of the Gunnison. There's disagreement over where they came from, but researchers now agree that their mission is almost biblical, turn these few fish into many. Nice work. That's why biologist Eric Gardunio is cruising these waters where the immune trout were discovered, capturing healthy female fish and using them to breed tens of thousands of offspring that are also immune to the illness. Usually we're gonna have about a day when those females' eggs are ready to, to be spawned and collected by us, so we're out here kind of looking for a needle in a haystack. They use this spindly apparatus to send a weak electric current through the water that attracts and then stuns the trout. And then it's just up to our netters to be quick with their net and get those fish out of the water as quick as possible. The process depends on touch and time. The touch for getting the eggs out of a female. So usually it'll be about a thousand eggs per female. And the time, less than a minute, to use the male trout to fertilize the eggs. The process of life is going at that point. The fertilized eggs are brought to a nearby hatchery where they are cultivated and raised into healthy rainbow trout, ready to stock rivers all over Colorado. We're starting to, to develop wild fisheries of fish that can reproduce and survive on their own um, without our help. We know these fish are resistant to the parasite, and we've actually seen a, a threefold increase in the number of rainbows we have since we started doing that. While that's good news for Colorado's economy, it means even more to fishermen like Joel Evans, who know the true value of the sport. It's where it takes you to places like this canyon. It's the fun of going, it's the adventure. Sometimes fishing is just kind of part of it. So with a little luck and a lot of science, they'll be telling fish stories around here for decades to come. For CBS This Morning, Barry Peterson in the Black Canyon of the Gunnison River, Colorado. What a tail. Yeah, what a, what a fish tail. <laughs> it's fascinating fish science. And well done. Yes, oh. and beautiful. Save the Gunnison industry. River. I, I look at the Gunnison River and my blood pressure drops 20 yeah. points just yeah. looking at it. Just the soundtrack of the yeah. Gunnison River and I feel like taking a nap. Mm -hmm. You don't need your blood pressure to drop, do you? You're in good. You're, 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 you're surrounded by Alex and I here. 7 a.m. <laughs> 7 a.m. Well, you, it's already at this very low level around you two, but then <laughs> even more. Those yeah. pictures were stunning. Yeah.